when you look back in history, who may be the slavery on slave ships? We, me, you, our four parents. But under the Bible and the sign, what I make me, you, and we four parents? That's right. We are the children of Israel upon the Bible. Right? Right? 
Top so, Zero Gantic do them. Right? Okay, go on. Bless her. High above all nations. Right? Above everybody else. Right? Yeah, I'm on this verse here saying, people listen. Right? God will make them above every other nation, above every other race on the earth. And the equality, God is going to set somebody up higher over other people. Right? Verse 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, and thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. And all his curses shall come upon thee, and to overtake thee. This shall thou be in the city. Right, so here you can say, let me go to the city now. Right? And you don't keep the commandments. Right? All these curses will not come upon the Lord. Right? So if you listen, you're blessed. Well, they don't see, they curse, right? So, now yes, you don't see this curse is what it was for and why God put it on the children of Israel, right? Verse 46. Verse 45. Verse 45. Moreover, all his curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Right, so all these persons he say will come upon all them and pursue all them anywhere they go. These persons will come on them, right? And overtake all them, right? They will be in their way they run. They will, them persons will still meet again, right? Because thou hearkest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he command me. Right, so because he will come upon all them for breaking God's laws. Right? And let me see, now you will see what the curse is for. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. Right, so the curse is upon a sign. What sign is for? Alright, put that in direction, right? A sign will tell you what is, where is, right? So that's why you know they, they have high street and they KFC because of the sign telling them you know where it is, right? And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. And the curse will be upon the children of Israel upon their seed forever. So the way I go through a couple of curses, right? So let me identify who these curses happen to, right? Because who wants to happen to? Right? To the children of Israel, they do listen, correct? Right? Verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and then I shall look and fear and longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thy hand. Right, so the children of Israel are the curses. Your sons and your daughters will be taken from you and given unto another race of people. Right? Who have their children are taken from you and given unto another race of people? So who now are these in uh, this kind of shall happen to? Okay, you are. Now the Now again, the Bible says that the children of Israel. So by seeing some of these things, you get an idea of who it is already it is now again. Let me go across the next verse again. Right? Verse, verse 68. Let me go to verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee to Egypt again with the ships. Right? And the Lord will bring the children of Israel to Egypt again with ships. Right? You know what Egypt means? Alright, so watch it. What did you say? He said the Lord will bring them to Egypt again with ships. Right? Egypt means right? captivity, but we will show you it in the Bible. That is what Egypt is, right? The book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Right? So he said he will bring them out of Egypt, out of slavery, out of the house of bondage. Right? Right? So, slavery, they were just in there. Right? The ships, what he will bring them? In the slavery of being with ships, right? And they were sold, right? And then the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt and the ships, and the way they offer speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Right? We will not see our homeland no more again. Right? For you are being saved. But that is that nice one. I see that. That's why I even think. Yeah, yeah, so when you're ready to pop off them slave ships, you accept on it, you will be sold unto your enemies. 
a safe man and a safe woman, right? Do you have an exit? Yeah, brother. Same thing. Continue, right? What I'm trying to show you is that black people go into slavery on a slave ship will be assigned. I don't know what you said, that will be assigned, right? And every sign have a meaning. And anything can be assigned, but every sign have a meaning. So let's see KFC, what I mean? They send them chicken in there. And when you see Dry City, what I mean? What I'm saying, man? Taxi road. If you see a dog walking around here and it's a big big one in press long, that's sign, what I mean? Pregnant, eh? So when you see, what do you think about it? That sign here is that. So when people go in on sale, she gives a sign now. No, I say it, but I say it, but I say it. What more did I say? Where did I get it? 68. Hold on, I'm 45. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and a wonder. Right, the curses will be upon him for a sign. Right, one of the curses that save ships. So when I is there going on save ships. So when they say, if you look around now, let me check, look back in our history. Right, and then who went into slavery on save ships? The Africans? How you come to that? Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, 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 let me take it over. Because we have to understand the face here, right? Let's see the phone. Don't worry, so good. I need to come in just now, right? Take in some important information. Read to them, I mean, um, put, um, all right. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Right. Right, so Moses talking to the children of Israel. Hello. Right, talking to the people of Israel. Right, talking to the children of Israel. 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 Right, we tell the children of Israel. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not happen unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and... Right, so who is telling the children of Israel, if you disobey the commandments, you don't keep the commandments, that curses will come upon you, right? Curses will come upon who? The children of Israel, right? Right. So why now? Why? Because the disobeying curse will come. Why? Give me a point. Right. The book of Deuteronomy 28 and 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee. Right, right, so you go now and explain it on your own that no matter where you go, the curse will come upon the children of Israel. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Upon D for a sign and a wonder. Shall be upon who for a sign and a wonder? Right, right. Right, so the curse is going to be a sign to identify the children of Israel. That is the meaning of the sign, right? And one of the curses is 68, right? The book of Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By right, and the brother explained it earlier on that Egypt means slavery or bondage, captivity, right? So this curse here now is that the Lord is going to bring the children of Israel into slavery again, but this time on a slave ship. Which is a sign because you're in a curse. So they're asking you now, when you look back in history, who went into slavery on slave ships? We, me, you, our four parents. According to the Bible and the sign, what I make me, you, and we four parents? That's right. We are the children of Israel, according to the Bible. Right? You mean the so called Negroes, the Amerindians? And the native Amerindians and the native Americans, the Apaches, we make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Right? That is we, that, and that is the sign. Because it's upon us. 
right? For example, you know, I'm a curse. Curse shall not be in this city. Curse can be in this city. The boy for Deuteronomy 28 and 16. Curse shall not be in this city, and curse shall not be in the field. Curse shall be thy basket and thy stock. Right, so if I'm that next curse, I just say, she was one. And I say, all the curses don't come upon we. Say that. Now that curse here is that we will be cursed in the city. So when you look in this land, you the city. Who, who in blessing and who in curse? Look at Who are the bottom? You and me. But the Bible says that is a sign to identify the children of Israel. You say, curse shall be a bread basket. Yeah. You know, a bread basket is your pantry home. You are real thing home? If you continue to come for six months, if you eat and drink nice every day? No, because we curse in that area and also identify the children of Israel. Because if we go by we, we East Indian, Kent and whoever, they live nice. In Trinidad, they live nice. The Syrian and them, they live nice. They have thing. Why get the Chinese, they don't come, they live nice. They have thing. Because it's not upon them. That, that the sign is showing them, the sign is showing we. The sign says, when you see that, no, that's the children of Israel. So that will be how we are showing you people that we are the children of Israel. Right, so you understand that? So now when a man asks you, what is your nationality? What are you going to tell him? We are the children of Israel, exactly. We are the citizens of Jamaica, we are the citizens of Trinidad, citizens all over. Wherever we scatter, we become citizens of the land. Just like how the Chinese is a citizen of Trinidad. The Syrian is a citizen of Trinidad. So that don't make him a Trinidadian by race. Then your citizenship status, by your race, your nationality, your bloodline. We are the children of Israel. Right? So come on to and Right? So now that we have established the point and you see and understand from the Bible that you are a child of Israel. And I am a child of Israel. What is what I mean? What I mean to us now? What we have to do about that? What we could do about that? Right? Right, but you write there we the book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? No Israel, no you, me, me. What does the Lord require of us? What the Lord wants from us? What we what we expect him to do as Israel as we to walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul. Right, so what God wants from us as Israelites is to walk in all his ways, keep all his love with commandment and to love him and serve him with all we have and all we say. But how you just do that? How you just walk in God's ways? How you just love God with all your heart and all your soul? How? How you just do that? You know? How? Right, right, that's what you say. But then what the Bible say now? To keep the commandments of the Lord. Oh, wrong. To keep the commandments of the Lord. Simple like that. Keep the commandments of God. So if you're keeping the commandments of God, that means you love God with all your heart and soul. If you're obeying all the commandments, you're going to go fall down here and there, you're going to mess up, you're going to make a mistake. You're going to fall in that human. But you're trying and you're trying again to keep the commandments. That means you love God with all your heart and your soul. That's right. right. If you ain't doing that, you ain't love him. John 14 and 15. Because everybody likes to say, yeah, I love God. I'm a child of God. I'm a child of the King. Everybody likes to talk. But what you actually say, right? You have it there? You forgot John chapter 14 and verse 15. If you love me, like Jesus the Christ speaking of Black Messiah, he said, if you love me, because you must love Christ. You can call out Christ. Continue to ask a man to do that. But he said, if you love me, what to do? Keep my commandments. Same thing here, same thing here. They keep the commandments. So if Christ said, if you love me, and they keep the commandments. And you not keep the no commandments. What do I mean? Exactly. That means you hate God. You ain't like him, you ain't like him between you and each other. Either you love him or you hate him. If you love him, you will keep the commandments. And if you ain't keeping the commandments, you hate him. That's right. So, which category do you think you're into? Do? You love God or you hate God to do? You're trying to love God. You're trying to keep the commandments. Right. Well, in order to, 
keep the commandments, you have to know the commandments. In order to know the commandments, you have to learn the commandments. In order to learn the commandments, you have to read the Bible. That's right. And that's what we are here to do, to share the Bible, because people, they're busy, they have no time to read the Bible, they have no time to learn, but we love your brothers and sisters, so we come out here to show them, to point them, because if we come out here today, you ain't taking this Bible lesson, you're gone. So that's what we are here for. So right, I'm going to show you a command. Give me the Sabbath, with the um, Exodus 10. Right, I'm going to show you that. You're not going to go, because what? You have to teach it. That's there. That's there. That's there. That's there. That's there. That's there. Our parents didn't know the right thing to be free. No, we get big and we get sense. We learn in the right thing. We have to teach the children the right thing. We can't know the right thing and the children grow up we live in life. Right to read. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Right to in most I God say remember the Sabbath day. Because if you go forget, it is easy to see the mind. It is it hard. It, 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 remember. It's just, oh, hey, remember. Like if some, you put somebody sending out, right? You tell them, you will bring back a bottle of punching and whatever. And, and remember the right chase, eh? Remember the chase, eh? So that means, you have to think, but they, 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 that's specific. They need that. So you need it to remember somebody. Why? To keep it holy. Right? But they have to remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Two things they have to know. Which day is the Sabbath day and how to keep it holy. You know them two things? So, which day is the Sabbath day? Saturday. Right? I will just call it the seventh day. Read. Verse 9. Six days thou shalt live and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. Right. Thy simple in which day and your doctor will understand. Six days. The labor and the work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath. It's God's Sabbath. You could have your Sabbath day whenever you choose, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and you could keep it however you like. But the seventh day is God's Sabbath. That's right. Right? And God said, remember to keep it holy. So, right, we have that the seventh day is Saturday, which is the Sabbath. How to keep the Sabbath day holy? We can't do it. Verse 10, but the seventh day is the Sabbath day of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt do no work. Right. So on the seventh day, the Sabbath day, Saturday, as you know, you're not supposed to do no work. No work. So if you love God, you will try to obey. On the seventh day, you will do no work. You will look for us. You will go and take a drink and come because it's right, the Sabbath day. There are six days in that. Right? Read up. No, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gate. Right? You hear that? You can't do it. Nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your, your, your workers, nor, nor even a visitor who come and spend in our two days for you. They might keep the Sabbath because they come and your house and not even your animals. That's right. Say, not even your ox because back in the day we used to use the ox to plow the land. Nowadays we use what? A chapter. So your chapter is not supposed to work on the Sabbath day. That all you just remember to keep the Sabbath day holy because that day is a special day. They do differently than the rest of the days. So if you use a man now, know that, and you ain't doing it, you know what? You ain't love God. So once you're not keeping it, you ain't love him. And we need to stop the love God and stop saying you love God. Right? We're not supposed to buy and sell on the Sabbath. Right? You're not going to read it for you because I can just tell you how to show you the Bible. The Bible is true. You have it? The book of Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals or... Right, right, right. Listen, if there's any people of the land, we wear a picture, right? The people of the land, so we're in Trinidad right now, right? The people of Trinidad, whoever they may be, East Indian, Chinese, whoever the people of the land be, and they come to sell, wear a picture, wear like hardware, wear not hardware, wear, wherever they sell it on the Sabbath day, right? Or victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. We, the children of Israel, the so-called Negroes, children of the slave trade, the native Americans, we would not buy from them on the Sabbath day. 
We go buy from them Sunday to Friday. We go buy. But on the Saturday, we're not supposed to buy. Because it's the Saturday and we're keeping it going. Right? So you see how we already passing here. Saturday, we're going to get KFC for the children. And that is a sin for the children of Israel. We not supposed to be here. Can you remember KFC? Sunday to Friday. That's six days of the church. The book of Exodus chapter 16 and verse 23, and he said unto them, This is that which the Lord has said to Moses. So Moses is coming with the of Israel, right? He being mindful to let them know, hey, I'm not making up this. This is what God tells me to tell all of them. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Right, so tell them tomorrow is the Sabbath day. So what make that day go to the Friday. Because we never know tomorrow is the Sabbath. So what are you supposed to do? Bake that which you will bake today. And see that which you will see. And that which you will see. And that which you will Friday. And see which means the boy. We have a boy today. Friday. Friday, Brendan makes it yesterday, you ain't walking, your children ain't walking, your workers ain't walking, Sabbath day, all the day, relax. Now you ain't just keep it going. And if you ain't doing that, you ain't love God. You understand? You ain't keep the commandments. But you ain't have to know because it's time to press. And you ain't got fire. You ain't got fire. You ain't got fire. You have a number there, you see that number in back then? You can call it, call it number. We have a school in Shogun, you understand? They might tell you we have a school. They come and learn the truth of the Bible. We have a church, we come and pay money and tap and sing. Right? And it's supposed to be raised every day I want. And two days, two days, two days. Right? Because they also, they also come and tell you that. So we need to learn that it's supposed to be done. The book of Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourself together. Yeah. Gather together, all nations that desire. Right, this is not, he said that the whole world is not the nation. So in that is it, we need to gather together because we as a people, we as a race, cannot desire. Nobody don't like me. The Estonian don't like me. If you want, look at Asha, what she look in her eyes. She represented them, she took the money for them. A lot of them ain't saying it, but they think in it. They hate me. They want to see the serious old nigga. Old dog and cockroach. They all them they see me. And monkey. But that, by the way, we are together, together as a people and stop killing off each other. Forget the last time, Muslim and six and seven and us. Remember the seven day. And the seven day, I don't know. We are together, together. We, 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 we. Gather yourself together. Yea, gather together, O nation that desired, before the decree break forth. Before the destruction coming. Because destruction coming. And now is the time. We have to have to fix it. Now is the time to get right. Now is the time to get right together. As a people. As That's a race. right. You know what I said? Oh, black man can't come together. Everybody else has come together. The Indians get together. The Chinese get together. The other association. We, by the way, we, we need to get together as well. Stop trying to be a part of them. And try to, we have to come together and stop fighting each other. Right? So that we have school. We have a WhatsApp group. 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 We have they go get all your Christian answer. Any biblical Christian, they get an answer. Right? We wrap it up here now. I'll tell you about the question. Let's go real quick. Hey, next time. Right. So, um, hey, brother. They go call in your man. Right? What's your name? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the book of Matthew chapter 26 and verse 6. Now when Jesus was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. Right, so Jesus and the disciples was eating out of something in a house and a woman caught with some very precious ointment, very expensive, and poured all on Jesus' head. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation say, To what purpose is this waste? And Jesus' disciples see she do that now and they get vexed. Now we got a point on the other because they're thinking she wasting the perfume. She wasting that expensive thing. I put it all on Jesus' head. For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble you this woman? For she had wrought a good work upon me. Right, and Jesus said, I know it. Go post on the woman. She knows what's going on, look at her. She doing a good thing. She doing a good thing, right? For you have the poor always with you, but me, we have not always. For in that same, sorry, for in that she had poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, yet shall also this that this woman had done be told for a memorial of her. Right, and that is why every time we close in our camp, we will make mention of this sister here because she did a great work unto Christ and Christ said wherever we preach the gospel, remember to mention this sister. Right, that's right. Why doing it? Keeping the commandment. And with that, to be our son, Fernando, we say shalom. Until next time. Nation is men leading by example.